Joining us this morning with an update is Hawaii County Mayor Mitch Roth. Good morning, Mayor. How are you doing this morning? Doing fantastic, but getting better. Good morning, Ross. Now, first off, Mayor, the lava flow speeding up a bit, traveling twice as fast as it has compared to the previous days. How concerned are you? You know, uh, I was a little bit more concerned yesterday. I got into um, civil defense this morning, got our overnight numbers. Actually, uh, I think uh, what I was told is about 1.8 miles away from the saddle road. And it started to slow down again. So it was moving at about 25 feet an hour. So that's a lot better than the 68. That gives us you know, a little bit more time to, to be prepared. So uh, actually feeling pretty good uh, as it slows down a little bit. So civil defense told you 1.8 this morning? 1.8 is, is the numbers that we're getting from last night. Okay. Now, is there a criteria in place or maybe a certain distance, maybe when the lava is maybe a half mile away from Saddle Road, when officials will issue an alert or close the highway? Well, here's what we know. Um, we know that we're going to need at least six hours of time for us to get uh, some of our equipment out of there. And so that, that's one criteria. So the other thing is going to depend on where it's coming down. If it's coming down by vegetation, um, that may cause some like lava bombs um, from methane gas to throw those things up. So that, that's one of the things that we're looking at. We're looking at how well people are obeying the rules. We have people that are, you know, not obeying the rules it creates a dangerous situation. And so there's a whole bunch of little factors that we're, we have in there. Um, distance is one of those factors, but we're looking more at how much time we can keep it open safely. So basically that six hour window mark to get prepared. Yeah, at least six hours. And you know that's gonna depend on when that, uh, that six hours is. If it's gonna be at night, um, we'll probably push that back a little bit as well. This is gonna be some time needed to get everything prepared. Now, Mayor, the visibility at Mauna Loa hasn't been the greatest over the past few days with the fog and haziness. Have you heard of any accidents at the viewing area because of that? I haven't heard of accidents at the uh, traffic hazard mitigation route, um, but there have been accidents up there, uh, especially on the highway. We, you know, the other day we had a rollover. Uh, I don't know if that was lava related. We had some cars that got hit. Um, so we, we have had some, some uh, uh, crashes up there, um, but recently it's been pretty good. Uh, we've seen a lot less of that since we opened up the traffic hazard mitigation route. And I guess it's perfect timing with the 20 Hawaii National Guard members up there right now. Right. So they, they came on board yesterday and they're helping out. And so we have more eyes on the scene, hopefully moving people along a little bit quicker as well. Now, Mayor, what about the VOG? Are Sam Spangler's up there? He's been feeling the effects. Are you feeling or smelling any of the effects where you're at? I have not been feeling or, or smelling any of the, the VOG. However, you know, yesterday was a pretty rainy day and uh, we're expecting the trades to come back today and hopefully we'll have better viewing and better, better weather as well. And finally, people from all over the world flocking to Hawaii Island. What's your final message to visitors and residents? You know, we, we ask people to, to be Pono um, and to drive, you know, cautiously. There, there's still people out there that aren't paying uh, the most attention, but we want people to be safe. And, uh, you know, I say beat Pono, pick up your rubbish and be mindful that, you know, others are trying to, to have a good time as well. All right, there you have it, Mayor Roth. Thank you so much for your time and the updated information. Have a great day.